11 days ago, we brought you breaking news out of Jackson Square when a tree fell on a teenager. The city, the family rather, is now suing the city. And tomorrow we could hear from their lawyer, Morris Bart. Ahead of that, Alyssa Curtis has been reviewing what we know. Tonight she takes us through that and some questions that still remain. A trip to New Orleans brought tragedy for one Texas family. Friday, July 7, a large tree limb in Jackson Square failed and trapped a teenager. He was rushed to the hospital. Just days before, a different branch from the same tree also collapsed. Now the family has hired lawyer Morris Bart to help them sue the city. Bart is expected to speak on the lawsuit Wednesday. Ahead of the press conference, here's a few questions WWL-TV has posed about the incident that have still not been answered. WWL-TV has been told by the city the tree was inspected June 27th and June 28th after the first limb fell. But before then, when was it inspected? How often are these trees checked and who exactly checks them? After the incident, the city said there was no elevated risk of additional large limb or whole tree failure. But what constitutes an elevated risk and how is it assessed? How did the large limb fall? Since the tree was removed, has there been any indication of termites or rotten wood? What exactly is the family seeking? WWL-TV will continue to try to get these questions answered. In New Orleans, Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News. When we first spoke with Bart last week, he told us the child was still in ICU with a severe brain injury, and we're hoping to get an update on his condition tomorrow.